Okay, in my diagram, I decided to use three inches to represent every 5,730 years. So that's along this x-axis from 9,453 B.C. to 3,723 B.C. It's three inches, 5,730 years, the time it takes for carbon-14 to go down by one half. So, the vertical axis here, the y-axis, is going to be our beta emissions. Here you can see three inches, again, is going to represent 15 beta emissions. One and a half inches here, seven and a half beta emissions. I got to the end of the paper here, and I haven't had enough room to represent how many beta emissions there are. So I'm going to make the graph a little bit bigger. OK, well, I've uh, attached another sheet here, but I'm running into another problem, which is that as this thing is getting smaller and smaller, it's becoming harder and harder for me to draw it. There shouldn't actually be any converting of these lines, except at the interval points. Because this, ha this line up at the top here is the uh, continuous integration. And that should only touch at this one half-life point, but as it's getting smaller and smaller, I don't have the ability to go any smaller. So, uh, over at 36,387 AD, I've got no, uh, representation of what, it, what it's going to look like. And I'm thinking, uh, this, there's still something there. On my chart here, it says that in uh, 36,387 AD, there should be a beta emission every 1,024 seconds. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be, I don't know, a few hours, I think. But there's still going to be something there. And, uh, I gotta figure out a way to show that. <clears throat> I think we might be able to magnify it somehow. I've had this idea. You guys remember that picture that I did of the uh, living clam? That picture is three inch by three inch square. So. I think what I'm going to do is try another way to try and see what, how big that, uh, that amount of C14 is by uh, cutting the picture in half. So if the picture was a full picture in 9,453 BC, then in 3,723 BC, it would be, look like this three inches by one and a half inches. Of course, that half part of the picture could be any part from the original picture, but I've decided to use this top half. In 2007, the picture would look like this, using the bottom half of the top half from 3723 BC. The bottom half of that half from 2007 would look like this in 7737 AD. 13467 AD. 19197 AD. 24,927 A.D. 30,657 A.D. 36,387 A.D. 42,117 A.D. I've lined them all up, my drawings, and it's kind of interesting because 
the first half plus half of the first half, one-fourth, plus half of that, one-eighth, plus half, one-sixteenth, and so on, should never quite add up to three inches. Now, I reached three inches, or I just about got there, and uh, there should be just the tiniest, tiniest gap. It should never quite be at three inches. But uh, I still have gotten to a point now where it's too small for me to uh, replicate. I don't have any room to do that inside of three inches. So uh, I've had an idea. And that is, from the very bottom of that last half, I can take the line and replicate the one little line, but magnify it in height by however many times down in the future I want to go. So I'm going to try that. Well, it's become really easy to see why I was having so much trouble making those lines. Uh, what I did was add the numbers in for uh, into our chart here for our y-axis, how, how far is that going to be from our x-axis? Our y-axis is representing the uh, beta emissions. So we started out with it full on 3 inches. And so we go down to 1.5 inches. Basically, uh, the point that I got to, well, that could be at all accurate is... 30,657 A.D. I guess that's, that's down here. There we go, 30,657. And at that point, it's going to be 0 .024 inches from the x-axis. Now, uh, let's look at this thing for a second here. This is a uh, Vernia calipers and it measures down thousandths of an inch. So, 0 0.024 for uh, 657. There we go, that's right there. And I'm just gonna measure it quickly and see how close we were. That looks like about 0 0.035 inches. You can see how much space whoops, there is there. Very small. So 0 0.035 inches, and it should have been 0 0.024 inches. So that's about point. Zero one 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 hundredth of an inch off. However, that's you can see on that thirty sixty thirty six fifty seven. That's a measurement of all the lines converged. So it's the thickness is right, but you know you can't see the continuous. It's, it's got no separation from the x axis. It's uh, anyway. I've got this idea, though, that uh, we're going to be able to take 0 0.6 inches in 4217, which is that much, if you can see it. It's, it's really, I can't really even, you can barely see the gap through there. But there is one. 0 0.006 inches, and uh, we're going to magnify that just using that very bottom part of the uh, of the original drawing, the bottom half of the top half of the original drawing, the very thin sliver. We're going to magnify it, see what it looks like in 42117. As I'm magnifying this against the y-axis, it's, it's getting pretty interesting, these striations. <laughs>